Welcome to the Watkins Glen International, where the DRL Summer Series arrives to take on a road course for the very first time. And this is the Finger Lakes 355 at the Glen. I'm Logan, and today I will be joined by Andrew for the fourth round of the DRL Summer Series season in 2023. Uh, I'm glad to have you all with us. 25 drivers ready to take on this 3.45 mile road course today with 11 corners, and we are using the full layout of Watkins Glen for this one, folks. It's uh, definitely one of the best road courses in NR that just comes basically. But we should be in for a good race today. 14 laps around this long and winding road course through the ups and downs of the Finger Lakes region in western New York. So last time out at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway, we saw Zachary Fitzwater in the number five go to victory lane in what was a hotly contested caution-free race around 40 laps of the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. It was awesome to watch. One of the favorite races that I've ever commentated. But uh, Fitzwater is not the points leader coming in. He's only two behind. Bradley Reen, who has not finished off the podium all season. He finished third at Daytona, won at Darlington, and also finished third at Coca-Cola. So four drivers this year have started off really hot in the points. Reen, Fitzwater, Titan Nicholas, and David Dawn have all finished top 10 in all three races so far, and they are all 20 points clear of the next guy in fifth in Ryan Durrani. And in fact, Durrani sits 44 points behind the race lead, which is more than you can earn. In a, so Bradley Ream has more than a race's points lead over fifth place already. That's how that's how good that Ream and Fitzwater have been. David Don in fourth is 24 points behind. Titan Nicholas in third is 19 points behind. It's Zachary Fitzwater Two points behind Bradley Ream, who is, sits on 106 points after three rounds. But today, no, none of those guys starting right at the front here at Watkins Glen, which is definitely the preferred starting spot here at the road course. Less passing opportunities, but hopefully we should still see a good race today. And uh, we'll be right back and get these guys rolling here at the Glen. So as we get ready for the engines to fire, let's go over the top 10 starting order here. At the Watkins Glen International, we've got Brian Webb starting on the pole at his home track. Owen Miles will start alongside him on the outside pole. Then Nathan Stapleton in the 97 rolls off from the third spot. Ryder Hunter in the 56 rolls off from the fourth position. Starting fifth, the Daytona, the DRL 500 winner, Annie Thomas won in the opening round. Then it's Titan Nicholas in the 34, coming in third in points. He starts in the sixth spot today. Reggie Fulgeman, Tanner Parton on row number four, and then rounding out the top ten, it will be Derek Alexander in the eight and Dylan Cunningham in the seventeen. As they, as all twenty-five drivers roll off here from the Watkins Glen International. Uh, sorry for the janky pace lap there. Forgot to set it to a half pace lap, but anyways. No cautions here today. 14 laps of green flag racing. If you wreck, you're done. As they come around, turn number 11 for the final, final time. The most crucial corner on this track. We're green flag racing from the Watkins Glen International. And Owen Miles is going to jump out in front early here in that 25 car. After one corner, he rocketed around the outside of Webb. In that Optus number 25 with Mobile One on the hood. And Owen Miles leads early here in the Watkins Glen International. <laughs> Watkins Glen International. I keep wanting to say Speedway. That's not the track name. But Ryder Hunter jumping out second from that fourth starting spot as the outside lane got a really good start. Titan Nicholas is up to third from the sixth spot, but he's got challenge from Webb coming back at him. Looking for the last podium spot as it stands right now. However, we get a lot of corners that just switch back and forth constantly, so it's gonna you can last side by side here for a while. Titan Nicholas is gonna take the spot away for now, as lots of lots of dicing around back here, jockeying for position. Still two by two throughout the most of the back of the field. As we head through the boot section of Watkins Glen now. The part that NASCAR does not use in real life, but we still use it here. Here in Snathan Stapleton. Drop back on that start, trying to get past Tanner Parton for the fifth spot, trying to hold off the number three cool drive car, and it looks like he will successfully as they head back into turn number nine. Back onto the short, sh back into the uh, short shoot here at Watkins Glen. Owen Miles still leading out front. 
away from Ryder Hunter, Titan Nicholas, Brian Webb, and Nathan Stapleton will be the top five as we come through. Oh, and Owen Miles is coming down the pit lane already. What in the world is going on here? From the lead, Owen Miles down the pit lane, another New York native. And I don't know what the problem is on his car, but that is a terrible break. But that's going to be really good for Ryder Hunter. It's going to put the 56 right into the lead here. Ryan Hunter with amazing luck right there. Taking the lead off of what I would believe to be a mechanical issue there. But he will lead over Titan Nicholas, who is being chased down by Brian Webb. And it looks like we have a move down the back stretch for the third position. Side by side between Brian Webb and now Nathan Stapleton looking to take away P P3 there. And through the carousel, I should say. And Nathan Stapleton going to have to hang it around the outside at turn number six here. And that's a long left-handed corner. I don't know if he's going to be able to stay off. Someone's off in the grass ahead of him. I think it was Titan Nicholas. But they're still side by side coming down into the boot. The 97 Red Bull trying to keep to the inside. And it looks like he'll clear. Nathan Stapleton moved up back to where he, uh, I think back to where he started now from that third spot. Fell back initially, but a great job overtaking a bunch of cars already to get back into the podium spots and into the fight for this win. Right behind Titan Nicholas, who is the only one of those uh, big four guys that is running up in the top ten. Actually, never mind. Bradley Ream already found his way into the seventh spot here in that 11 car. We'll have to see what if uh, Reem can make up any more spots, but we've got plenty of race to go. And here's Owen Miles way behind in the 25 after making that pit stop. Everyone should be making a pit stop today. As we got a battle for the lead, Titan Nicholas to the inside in turn number one. And the 34 is going to try and get around Ryder Hunter in the turn number one, but the outside lane, the run you get off of it is pretty good here, and the 56 keeps the lead for now. Ryder and Hunter and Titan Nicholas duking it out here through the S's. Nicholas slots in behind trying to get a run down the back stretch here. We're going to skip the chicane on this full layout. So we have a huge run down into the carousel. Some slight drafting going on here as we see the field going too wide toward the back. You have a lot more action. Here goes a move in the inside of the carousel. And it's going to be Fogelman on the inside. He will take position for now heading into the boot. Into turn number six, Reggie Fogelman on the outside of Bradley Ream in the 11 car, and it's not going to hold for him. He gets up on the curb, but the 20 stays right there. Oh, someone's in the wall back there. Looks like they get out of it okay. But Reggie Fogelman trying to take away the spot. I think someone's still dragging along the wall back there. It might have been Zachary Fitzwater in the five, who has not had a good start to this race at all. The Aussie having a rough time here at Watkins Glen. I think he... Basically got pushed right into the wall there. There was someone ahead of him who hit it as well. It was one of these new lawn cars. It was either Matt Harper or uh, Angel Gutierrez. I think it was Gutierrez. He was running behind Harper at the time. But Fitzwater running back in the 20th spot now. Or the 21st spot, I should say. Not good when he's got Bradley Ream all the way up here in the top 10. But Ream just got passed by Reggie Fogelman in that 20 car for the 7th spot. And uh, trying to hold off now the 19 of Shakur McKenzie. Is, uh, looks like he's not got the fastest car. Still some action up here. Ryder Hunter looks like he got into the wall off turn 11. And that's cost him a few spots. Brian Webb trying to get around him there for third. But the 56 holds him off for now. But the right side damage on that car is quite visible to him and his competitors. And that's going to be... If we have a pit stop, that might take him out of it as they're going to have to fix that damage if they want to uh, really contend for this win. Aerodynamics can still mean quite a lot here to road course, especially since you're turning both directions. But we'll have to see. Turn 11, the most crucial spot in this track. Some guys get loose through there. You can get in the wall, and you can cause a massive accident down the front straightaway as well. We're, luckily, we're lucky we have not seen that today. Hopefully we'll remain that way. But here comes Tanner Parton now getting the fifth spot in one foul swoop from the 26 of Annie Thomas, but t Annie Thomas going to counterattack back to the inside at turn number seven. And they will be side by side as we head toward turn number eight, and Thomas is going to get right back ahead. A great run out of the corner for her. Bradley Ream trying to get past Reggie Fogelman for the seventh position as well. 
a great battle here just behind the leaders. They're going to figure it out. Tanner Parton will slot in right in front. And we are single file through most of the front of the pack. Another move to the inside in turn number 10. That's Shakur McKenzie. Couldn't quite make it work from the ninth spot. Trying to uh, get Reggie Fogelman while he was a bit caught off guard. Oh, look at... That's how loose these cars get off the corner. Contact between 11 and the 20. And someone's just come down pit road. It's Dylan Cunningham in the 17. As well as... The two of Will Parrish, whose teammate has already come down, Owen Miles. So both of these Watkinshaw cars already down the pit lane. As the top 10 start to spread out a little more. We saw Brian Webb get really, really close to slamming the wall off the final corner. He's lost a lot of time. Oh, and this is a... Uh, someone did hit the wall there. Riley Sampson in the 18... He's got a massive gap to the 8 of Derek Alexander in front of him. That's 11th to 12th now, and you can see the damage there on Riley's car. But then it's Sam and Oskin and Matt Harper going to battle for 13th here. Oskin trying to hold off the 23. They head into turn number 6. A long left-hander, and Oskin's going to dispose of him easily as Harper falls back into the clutches of Skylar Taylor. But Harper's going to send it back down the inside of Oskin. The inside of turn number seven, and I think if he can hold it out here on this straight, he should be able to uh, get this position. We're heading to turn number eight. Still side by side, all the way down here, down and back up the hill as they head towards the short shoot. But Harper's going to be ahead as they head into turn number nine, and Oskin and Taylor continue to battle up as we go back up front. Pass for the fourth spot now. Looks like it's Andy Thomas going by Brian Webb here. So we focus on the leaders, Nathan Stapleton, Titan Nicholas, Ryder Hunter, all coming down the pit lane, and uh, looks like everyone else is going to follow the leader here. Except for one guy, Ryan Durrani in the 55, trying to pull the overcut. Oh, someone missed the pit entrance. Is that Oskin? I think it might be the 99, who just missed pit road. My must have been like side by side or something coming down in there, but oh, this is David Dawn in the nine. Excuse me, but it looked like it was about the place where Oskin was running. So that's a rough break for David Dawn. He just lost a lot of ground. Nathan Stapleton coming back onto the track alone in front of I believe this is Annie Thomas in the twenty six now as they come out. The both the Penrite cars are up here. Thomas and Shakur McKenzie. Some guys. Going for two tires or maybe just gas, while other guys might have went for four here. Will Parrish has started at the back of the field, and he's already passing a bunch of these guys as they head up through the S's. But certainly some very interesting strategy playing out here. We'll have to see what happens with Nathan Stapleton. I'm also interested to see where Owen Miles might... Oh, he had to come back down the pit lane. Because he pitted on the first lap, so that's a... That's a terrible break for him. Caleb Rose also now having a good day back here in the 88, running away behind. But uh, Ryan Durrani and then or Ryan Durrani purposely stayed out, and David Don just missed the pit lane entrance. So Nathan Stapleton still runs third, but he is a country mile ahead of these two teammates here, of Annie Thomas and Shakur McKenzie. I believe is the order that they are in. But. We'll watch Ryan Durrani here. I believe he's coming down the pit road this time, and he is. We'll have to see if he takes two tires, four tires, or none. Driving to his pit stall here on the pit lane. It's going to be Durrani and the aforementioned David Dawn, who was the pit lane last lap by. They will pull in, and we'll see what strategy they pull now, as we're just one lap away from halfway in this Finger Lakes 355. He'll take the first two tires, and it looks like he will be taking all four along with David Dawn. Not going to be as advantageous as they wanted it to, as here come our race leaders. And Nathan Stapleton's going to be way out, way gone. Now Ryan Durrani's going to come out the pit lane. Looks like he might get past Titan Nicholas and Reggie Fogelman are battling here for the fifth spot, and they both get thrown way off the track in turn number one. That was a close call there. Fogelman's in the grass a little bit, but Durrani's going to lose a ton of spots here on the S's. He's in the grass trying to make sure he stays out the way of uh, Maxie Chilton and Derek Alexander here who are battling. 
Durant is a sitting duck on those cold tires. Brian Webb has also fallen way back in the six on that first cycle of pit stops. We should see one more. But uh, I think Durrani needed one more lap if he wanted to make this a one-stopper. So that's a rough break for him. The overcut is obviously not the way to go here at Watkins Glen. So it's going to be Nathan Stapleton leading by almost three seconds from Annie Thomas, Shakur McKenzie, and then another three seconds back to uh, Tight Nicholas now probably in the fourth spot ahead of Reggie Fogelman, who rounds out the top five. Then it's Matt Harper, who has really been on the move in this race in that 23. He will run sixth. Will Parrish has found his way up to the seventh spot after pinning a lap earlier than everyone else. Maxie Chilton has gotten by Derek Alexander for the eighth spot, and then Alexander runs ninth. And Brian Webb stuck back in the tenth position now after starting from the pole. He just fended off Dylan Matthews that last time by, but... It's not been a great race for the hometown hero, Brian Webb, here. We'll have to see if he can recover, but Nathan Stapleton, smooth sailing out front. We'll see what the gap is officially this time by, but he is not under any pressure right now in that 97. We'll have to see if he can close out a win this time, as it is the gap. 3.15 seconds back to the Daytona winner and Annie Thomas for the second spot. Nathan Stapleton leads halfway through this race. We have seven more laps to go, but remember, more pit stops on the way. We'll see some different strategy calls there. It's just a handful of laps left in the race. We'll see some two-tire, two no-tire, maybe just some people going all out on four tires. It'll be very interesting to see what these teams can decide to try and get their drivers up front here in the late stages. Through the carousel goes Stapleton with a huge advantage with the rest of the field. And uh, I'm looking back through the order right now. Looks like Caleb Rose running in the very last spot. Over half a minute behind your race leader, Nathan Stapleton, his teammate. So two Red Bull Triple Eight cars book ending the field here at Watkins Glen as it stands right now. Owen Miles had the unfortunate break pitting on lap number one for uh, guessing a tire going down or something because he's still out there running at a good pace. But he runs 24th. David Dawn missed the pit lane running 20. 23rd, excuse me. Um, Zachary Fitzwater and Sam Oskin have both fallen way back here behind anyone else. There are four seconds behind Ryder Hunter, who had to fix some of that damage on the right side of his car under that last pit stop. He was running off front, but a, another rough day for the 56. It has not been a great season for him overall. But not a lot going on throughout the beginning throughout the top half of the field. Here's a little bit of battling here. Maxi Chilton and Matt Whoa. Harper going at it for the seventh spot, and this could be interesting. We'll have to watch Chilton's line through 11 here. He has someone on the inside, and he's going to get in the wall. Pit. Has more guys pit here on lap number nine, but Maxi Chilton... Oh. has lost control of the car. He's bouncing on both sides of the track. The four on the inside and the outside walls, and that is going to be a lot of damage. And uh, Nathan Stapleton... Annie Thomas and a bunch of other leaders here hitting on lap number nine. And I'm thinking they may not have to make another stop here as well as they really only run four laps on this tank. Well, I don't know if they can run another five the way they've been doing this, but this is going to be very, very close and very interesting. Nathan Stapleton getting out way ahead of the two Penwright T cars again. Thomas leads from McKenzie for second and third provisionally. But the guys out on track right now, I believe, would make this the battle for the lead. And they are grinding bumpers, Tanner Parton and Brian Webb, as they head into turn number six into the boot. Three takes uh, takes that spot away. Oh, and uh, Titan Nicholas also sitting up here in the 34. A little bit of damage on that right side of that truck assist car, that Chevrolet. But Nicholas, and then these guys, second, third, fourth, and fifth on track behind him. Our Parton Webb, uh, I believe this is Ryan Durrani, who we know can stay out for quite long, and then Bradley Ream in the 11, still maintaining a top 10 presence here. But a Titan Nicholas all alone out front. He, well, I'm guessing he's probably going to come in this time, but these guys are spreading out so much for their pit stops, I can't really be sure, and he's going to stay out again. I'm watching anyone from this group. Maybe even Ryan Durrani trying to stretch it to stay out the whole time, but all of these guys have a lot better fuel mileage or are just simply choosing to not uh, take tires, I guess. Maxi Chilton pits with damage. 
Dylan Cunningham is in as well. They're running about halfway through the field. As we go back to Nathan Stapleton here, and he, Thomas, and Mackenzie are still all in an island out of Dylan Matthews. Kagami Awoye up here, I believe that is. And it, it, is, an, it is Awoye in the 35. Um, Reggie Fogelman also running back here. Is, oh, Mackenzie's in the wall in the 19. Big time. That might have been one of the uh, biggest tank slappers we've seen all day. It's going to leave a few marks on the side of that number 19 as well. That could be rough coming for... Uh, luckily, he did get that pit stop out of the way, so hopefully he won't have to uh, fix the damage anymore. He can just run it out to the end. But it is Nathan Stapleton... Still provisionally in the pit, in the race lead out of all the guys that have made these two stops, but I'm really curious to see how long some of these guys stay out here. And going back to those pit stops on la entering lap number nine just makes me a bit more concerned for those cars. I, we've seen from Durrani and David Dawn that going ten, I, not ten laps, six laps, we're on lap ten, is possible with these cars. But the fact that their stingy for us are only five and four laps is slightly concerning because we know that they can burn fuel a lot faster than that six lap window. So we could see some last lap, one lap to go pitters, and that could throw a lot of chaos into this field as the leaders are now coming in, or at least most of them. Titan Nicholas down from the race lead, so is Tanner Parton, but looks like Reem, Webb, and, Con and uh, Durrani are all staying out. And here comes Bradley Ream trying to get past Brian Webb, and Durrani's going to follow him right through. But the 55 has to really check up on the inside lane there. He's going to think he's going to have to fall back in line here. Side by side through the S's is not a great idea for Ryan Durrani and Brian Webb. We'll have to see. I think they'll figure it out here onto the back stretch. And they will for now, but I think Durrani's still just got a little bit of a faster car than Webb, who was not shot off well after the start of the race here. Uh, he didn't lead a lap. He was down to third by the beginning, or by the end of the first one, but Bradley Ream now into the official race lead here on lap number 11 of 14. And there's Nathan Stapleton in the 97. Looks like Tanner Parton's going to get out ahead of Shakur McKenzie here, but Titan Nicholas has spent a lot of time on the pit lane. I'm guessing he uh, must have hit the wall multiple times or something because he's lost a ton of time to Par Parton who has a clean race car and has jumped into third provisionally. A lot of action going on up here at Pit Stops. We're looking at Stapleton right now, entering the boot section of the track when NASCAR does not use. He goes almost into the wall on those, and those aren't even cold tires, so I'm, I'd be wrong there. Slightly concerning for Stapleton, but nothing out of the ordinary. Probably just lost the car through that corner. Back to our leaders, Bradley Ream. And the hometown hero, Brian Webb, Ryan Durrani. They're probably going to pit this lap. I was wrong last time. And Durrani stays out again. Another amazing six-lap stint from him. He will pit with two laps to go next time. Bye. I'm just wondering if this is all going to work out for Durrani because if he just runs two six-lap stints, he's still going to have to pit this time. Bye. Maybe he can take fuel only and try and jump everyone else, but Nathan Stapleton already coming through the last corner now. We saw Shakur McKenzie got back ahead of Parton, who has fallen way back. Oh, Annie Thomas is just going to save it from the wall there, unlike her teammate. But Stapleton is going to get past Ream and Webb here on the pit lane easily. So I'm really not sure what's up with Brian Durrani here. If he's just trying to run as long as he can, hoping for mistakes out of these guys here. Stapleton, Thomas McKenzie still the top three that have pitted here. Looks like Bradley Ream will jump into fourth as it stands right now, which is still really good for him. And that is going to give him a massive points lead after this thing is over the way it runs right now. Dylan Matthews has jumped out of nowhere into uh, what would be the fifth spot. I believe he's pitted twice now. But he's also past Tanner Parton. Maxie Chilton is still up here after hitting both sides of the wall, so clearly that wasn't a huge problem for him. And Reggie Fogelman will perish, and Kagami Owoye up here. I think this will be the top 11 provisionally, but we've got to see where Durrani comes out. He's going to be somewhere in there for sure as he comes back up on turn number 9 into the short shoot. He'll take two laps to go this time, and if... I mean, he had a 22-second advantage over Stapleton, but 
I don't know if in I don't know if the guys in this game really can coast that much and save enough fuel, and he's not going to. So Ryan Durrani down the pit lane for the final time here. It's going to give the race lead back to Stapleton, we think. But I'm I believe the pit lane is just too long and the entrance is too sharp for Durrani to get enough speed to keep ahead of Stapleton here. As we're watching the crest of that hill back there for Stapleton to come over. He's coming out of the last corner now. He's all clean and all green. As we have taken two laps to go. Durrani does go fuel only here. But I don't think it's going to be enough to beat the 97. Who's already racing into turn number one. And Nathan Stapleton. Is taking the lead here. In the Finger Licks 355 at the Glen. But it's still taking the third spot away here. It could be huge for Ryan Durrani, the fifth place points man. As it stands right now, he's on the final step of the podium, splitting the two teammates and Andy Thomas, who runs second now, and Shakur McKenzie, who runs fourth. Bradley Ream has found his way into the top five once again. And if it stays like this, he'll have finished top five in every single race this season so far. But uh, we're cycling back through the field now. This is Riley Sampson running in the 20th spot. Gutierrez, Angel Gutierrez, who almost won at Coca-Cola last time out, 21st. Dylan Cunningham is falling back to 22nd now. Caleb Rose, I believe, takes the 23rd spot away, or no? Oh. David Dawn, yep, Skylar Taylor, Ryder Hunter, and Zachary Fitzwater. Have all come down the pit lane, but they're in the back of the field. I don't know what they're if they're on different strategy or not. But uh, I believe Stapleton should be able to run to the end here. Along with Thomas and Durrani, but uh, I may just eat my words here. We'll have to see. Coming through turn 11 to take the white flag this time. Nathan Stapleton going to hang it out just a little bit more as he has one more circuit around here at Watkins Glen. Stapleton just trying to close out with this six-lap superhero stint right here. He has a massive advantage of 3.75 seconds. 7.6. Um, he goes into the S's with a comfortable lead. No one's really close here. But wow, the strategy may have not worked out for Durrani. He did go from the back of the pack from at the start of the race to the third position. Or, uh, around, uh, yeah, third position. Uh, he's had... A great day. His strategy was really good for where he started. A nice run, but we've seen our pole sitter and others just fall straight through the field. This track is quite unpredictable, and it is really hard to learn, and we have seen that today. We've seen a lot of great action. Back to our race leader, Nathan Stapleton. He'll enter the boot with a still a comfortable advantage. I don't see how he could throw this one away. Yep, the engine's not going super sour on him this time quite yet. But we just got to make sure he gets all the way around here through turn number seven for the final time in that 97. Andy Thomas is still way behind him. And even if he gets on the wall off the final corner here, I think Stapleton should be okay. Coming out of the heel of the boot for the final time. Thomas and then Shakur McKenzie is trying to make a last ditch effort to get past Ryan Durrani for third here. On the final lap, but... These guys are just having issues on the pit lane, but it's going to be Nathan Stapleton, who has no problems today. A great race from the 97. Probably the best car on the day overall, and it looks like he's going to make sure he wins it this time. Nathan Stapleton is going to win here at Watkins Glen. And after all the misfortune at Darlington, he finally gets his win. My next two cars for me are... Uh, and Maxi Chilton, Reggie Fogelman, Will Parrish, and Dylan Matthews round out the top 10 here from the Watkins Glen International as they all take their cool down lap here. Finger Lakes 355 at the Glen it was a very, very interesting race. Uh, certainly kept my eyes open throughout it. Just looking out for all the different strategies and such. A lot of guys did move up and down the field. We see Brian Webb who finished in that 16th spot from the pole. And a lot of guys who moved up 
Will Paris started shotgun on the field today and ends up ninth at the checkered. So Watkins Glen, definitely a great road course. And we're lucky to have it in this game and <laughs> just lucky to have it overall. Nathan Stapleton, certainly lucky to have it as well as he takes home the race win today. Average of 102 or 112.111 miles per hour. It's a beautiful looking number. But uh, he stretched out his lead by over a second on the final lap as well. So it's not like he was just cruising around. He was pushing it away from the 26th of Annie Thomas. Ronnie, Shakur McKenzie, Bradley Reen. As we've said, we're officially halfway done here in the DRL Summer Series season. This has been race four out of eight. And it is really, really time for these guys up front in the points to start shifting their focus to the big picture and the championship. Because Bradley Reen has finished top five in every single race so far this season. Zachary Fitzwater, his closest competition coming in, finished dead last after winning last time out. So Bradley Ream is going to have a huge points lead as we head into the next round.